Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching, this is me Mr. P. This is the second episode in the series Raspberry Pi Server plus Samsung DeX. In a previous episode we created a Raspberry Pi Server using Tire Pi OS and we connected two external hard drives and we set up a Samba server to access files of this server from Samsung DeX My Files or Total Commander app. This episode is probably one of the most important ones as I'm going to talk about backing up your Raspberry Pi server. Let's start by going into a Termux and connecting to our Raspberry Pi. I'm going to do that by running ssh space root and then at and followed by p address of the Raspberry Pi. Your IP address obviously will be different. Press enter. Enter the password I created in the initial setup process in episode number one press enter and here we go I have connected into a Raspberry Pi. Before I go any further um, I want to make a bit of a clear information about this symlink situation. I received a couple of comments from you guys about this symlink, um, changes symlink and why sometimes I write one command sometimes I write another command but uh, the both commands doing the same thing. Let me explain. If I go into home diapi I will open a file called episode 2. So the symlink uh, this is the default one, it's called mount diapi user and there is a hard link which is called mount ssd diapi user. In the previous episode, episode number one, I moved my diapi user folder and user diapi user data files into my into external hard drive 240 gigabytes ssd and that's why I'm using the ssd folder. The diapi OS created a, a, a link which is called a sim link. Uh, this text, block of text is from a Wikipedia and basically symlink is a symbolic link also termed as a soft link. In the other words, simple to explain is like a shortcut key. And I, I wrote a couple examples here. So imagine you have a shortcut on your desktop which takes to a GTA 5. And what that basically means that if you double click on the shortcut it will open a folder of your GTA 5 just by using this short command. And the hard link in this situation would be C, program files, Steam, games, and then GTA 5. So the GTA-5 uh, dot shortcut is my soft link and C and all this location of a GTA 5 folder is going to be a hard link. And that's what the Diapi OS created when I moved Diapi user data into external hard drive. And, uh, and the one thing you need to take from this is basically when I'm writing mount slash Diapi user data or mount SSD, Diapi user data. They're basically different location, different ways to index a location, but it's basically the same place. Doesn't matter if you write mount diapi user data or mount SSD diapi user data. It's the same place. It's just two different ways to get access that location. I hope that's clear. Let's talk about the backup. Diapi OS has a very useful shortcut command which you can run to open a diapi backup system configuration window. That command is diapi backup. When you run that, you will be presented with a configuration window and this is all you need to basically have to get the Diapi OS uh, starting to back up your system. First thing, we need to go into locations and then choose manual. By default, Diapi system will back up and store the backups inside the mount slash Diapi backup, backup folder. But this is not the place I want to store. Mount folder and specifically this subfolder will be located on the micro SD card. And in this case, when the backup is a gigabyte, gigabyte and a half is not a big deal, but somewhere down the road, each backup folder will be 10, 15 gigabytes in size. And in an upcoming episode, I will show you how to create incrementing backups system that will add up. So if you have three folders that are 10 gigabytes each, obviously it's going to be 30 gigabytes. And when you're using micro SD card with eight, 16 gigabytes in size, or even 32, it's not going to be enough space to have all these free versions of a backup plus the system files, plus everything else. So instead of sending the backup system into mount diapi backup, I will delete that, leave only slash MNT slash SSD slash, and then I will call it server dash backup. Here we go. So I'm telling the backup system, I want backup folders to be stored inside SSD. This, like I said, name could be anything you have, you added in the first episode. If this can be whatever you want, uh, my, in my case is SSD slash server dash backup. And that's where backup system will store the backup files. I will select okay using tab and press enter, select a cancel and press enter. And then under filters, if I click on this, I press enter. I will open the default diapi configuration file. By default, there's going to be three lines here, which is going to say mount diapi user data, dash uh, minus mount and then asterisk and minus media. I need to replace these with mine and I already prepared this below. If I'm going to bring them up 
here I will explain what, what each line does. The first one was mount die by user date and as I explained at the beginning of the video this is a soft link this is like a shortcut key. Imagine if you connect your USB drive to Windows machine and you just copy the shortcut from your desktop expecting that you just backed up entire folder of a GTA 5 and you go to another computer and try to restore it that's all you copied is actually a shortcut. So by backing this, it does mean no good because I'm just backing up the shortcut. I need to back up the actual location where the DIAPI user data is located. In my case, it's mount slash SSD. Next line is exclude the mount slash SSD slash server dash backup. I don't want the backup systems to start backing up the backup folder. I don't want this to be backed up. I actually need to put the slash here. I don't want to start backing up the backups. If I have a one backup folder today, which is five gigabytes, tomorrow we'll have two for two folders backed up, one is going to be 5 and another one is going to be 10 because it's just duplicated one before and it's just going to start growing exponentially and I will definitely run out of space. And the last line is to make sure that Diapi, use, Diapi backup system excludes the external folder. If, let's say you have four different external drives connected to your Raspberry Pi server. One is two terabytes, another one is 10 terabytes, then you have another, ter ten, another 20 terabytes, and then you have another five terabytes. You add this up, up to uh, 37, and you're trying to back up 37 terabytes of data into a measly 240 gigabytes SSD, it's not gonna work. And to make sure that it's never gonna happen, I'm telling the Diapi backup system to exclude this. That's why there is a symbol, plus means include, and dash or minus means exclude. So once all this set up, I can press Ctrl X to close it and then press Y to save it and press enter to execute and that's it. If I'll go right now and select the backup, press enter, it's gonna tell me, okay, you're ready to backup. This is where we're gonna store the backup system. I'm gonna say, yes, that's fine, SSD server backup. Using arrow keys, I'm gonna select okay and press enter. Because it's a fresh install, it's gonna take no time to back it up. It's actually gonna be just shy of 800 megabytes in size. So let's wait for this to finish. And here we go, backup is done. It's telling me backup is completed. This is the location where the backup is. And now we'll, go, be, we'll be presented with a quick, like a log file telling me exactly what's happened, what's being backed up and at what time. Let's select OK, and press Enter. And now if I'll select Exit, press Enter, select OK and press Enter, I can navigate to this location where the backup files are located. I can type CD slash MNT. And obviously, like I said, I can write SSD and then Diapi user data. Or I can actually know I see the backups is actually on SSD. So if I'll do ls, and here we go. I have a folders, Diapi user data, this is Diapi user data, and server backup, this is where the backup is stored. To check how big the server backup folder is, I can write du space dash sh and give a folder name. And it tells me 788 megabytes in size. If we will go inside this folder, and list the content, I will have only one folder, which is called data. And if I'll go inside the data and list that, I'll see all the all the system folders backed up with everything inside them. Let's go inside the mount folder. So we're going to go inside mount and list that. I have my Diapi user data and default folders that's been created during the initial setup. I'm more interested inside into this folder SSD. If I'll go inside SSD and list that, I have my Di the Diapi user data folder, which is great. I'm going to go inside there. And as that, I have a music, pictures, video, and downloads. As you can see, there is no folder external because I have, I told the system, look, don't back up external folder. I'm fine with that. So this is why it's not here. Let's go back into a mount, diapi, and let's see what we have. We have music, pictures, video, downloads, and external. As you can see, external is showing up here, but not inside the backup system, which is great. So now let's say you by, by accident went inside your diapi user data and you just messed up you just went and removed folder music you remove folder pictures you removed folder video and you haven't realized but you actually removed folder downloads as well you just lost half of your data how to get it back so we have a backup we can restore it we go into diapi dash backup press enter go all the way down and say yes i want to restore to a previous backup i'm going to press enter I'll say yes, I'm happy with that. This is the location of the backup system. That's where I want. I'm gonna click OK. And the system right now will back up. Obviously, it was just a three or four folders and they're empty. It's gonna take better fast to back to restore it. But 
<laughs> obviously if you were storing a gigabyte or two of data is going to take way will take way longer please note that the last line a reboot is highly recommended i do recommend to restart your raspberry pi it doesn't matter if you're restoring only one single folder or you're restoring a 20 50 100 gigabytes of data always 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 after restore restart the your raspberry pi so that's what i'm going to do now i'll go back into a terminal i'm going to write reboot press enter so while this is doing i'm going to re repurpose the ssh command into a ping because I want to get notification once my Raspberry Pi is alive. I started to receive successful ping messages, so I'm going to press Ctrl C to close it, Ctrl L to clear the screen, use the SSH command to connect back into Raspberry Pi. We're going to enter the command. And here we go, I successfully logged in into a Raspberry Pi. Let's go back into the folder, which is mount SSD dia pi user data and if i list the content of this folder as you can see i have my folder music pictures video and downloads restored and this is how dia pi os using a backup restore system in upcoming video i will show you how to create the increment backups so instead of having only one backup which is server uh, let me quickly show it to you which is right now data in the future we will have data and data version 2, data version 3, and so on, so on. And another video after that will be how to move the backups to another location just in case if by some miracle your external SSD dies. Anyway, this is how Diapi OS using the backup system or how you can backup your Raspberry Pi server. Thank you much for watching. This was episode number 2 of Raspberry Pi Server plus Samsung X. If you enjoyed this content, um, I would like you to encourage me to do more by clicking a like button or just give me a polite kick by subscribing to my channel. If you have any problems with Samsung Dex, just leave a comment, a question in, in the comment section below or find me on a Twitter or Instagram or even better, if you go to Samsung Dex subreddit group, we have 16,000 plus members there. We are all friendly and ready to help you out with any questions regarding Samsung Dex. We, give, we can give you advice. We'll tell you exactly what's wrong, what's right and how to do certain things on Samsung Dex. Thank you much for watching and I'll see you in another episode. Goodbye.